So congratulations, you've now built a search engine. You've got all the components that you need for a search engine. You've got a way to collect a corpus using a web crawler that you built in the first three units. In units four and five, you figured out and hopefully understood how to build the index and then how to make it faster in unit five. And in unit six, what we've just finished, you figured out how to rank the results. There's one little bit left. We haven't used those ranks. So one of the questions on your homework will be using the ranks to get the best result. If we want to get the best result, just having the dictionary of ranks is not enough. We need to use that to find the result that matches the query that has the best rank. And that's one of the questions that you'll do on the homework for this unit. There are a lot of other hard problems. So you have a few problems left to solve before you can build a search engine that will compete with Google. Probably the hardest one, you've got to come up with a name. This is really hard. You could try Yugle. You could try Duck, Duck Find. None of those really work. You'll have to come up with a better name, and this is a pretty tough problem. Make sure to also talk to your trademark lawyers. Another thing you'd like to be able to do is actually get your search engine on the web so other people can send queries to it. That's not something we're going to cover in this class, but if you take the web applications course that will start shortly after this class finishes, you'll learn a lot about how to build web applications and be able to do that. So congratulations, you've reached the end of Unit 6. And this is actually the last technical content that will be in this course. Unit 7 will get you ready for the final exam, and we'll give you some interesting examples of using computing in context. So congratulations, you've now finished building a search engine, and it actually does page ranking better than any search engine that existed before 1998. That's quite amazing. I, I first want to also congratulate David for, for getting you to this point. I think that's, that's quite amazing, honestly. He's put a lot of sleepless nights into this. But also, I want to tell you, you guys are my heroes. Uh, you got to a point where you really did something, I think, really significant in this class. You actually learned how to, and you programmed your own search engine. Now, I have to say, I'm a little bit jealous. When I was a student uh, at college, there was no search engines, and there wasn't even the ability for me to learn all this stuff. Uh, so you, you've been afforded the ability to learn all this stuff. But then you really got uh, an amazing speed here. You did something really, really significant. I hope, I mean, if you keep up that speed and keep improving yourself at that same speed and learn new things, Maybe in three, four years, you are the next Google. That would be really amazing. Okay. Well, I think you're, you're definitely on track to doing that. And I hope you'll take some of the courses that we'll start offering as 200 level courses and, and more advanced courses later. Um, this is the end of unit six. We're not going to have any more technical content in the course. Unit seven is going to be all field trips and interviews, giving you some idea of how the things that you've learned in class fit into context. And that should be a lot of fun. The other thing that you'll have as part of unit seven is the final exam. And I hope everyone enjoys homework six and we'll be ready for the final next week. And I hope you enjoy the final exam.